Well, thank you very much, and <clears throat> welcome, Secretary. Um, I feel like there's so many different things we could talk about that are so important and are making a difference uh, in people's lives, and, and thank you, thank the President uh, for, uh, for doing what you are, are doing. Uh, first, I, I do want to recognize I have a lot of friends in purple shirts here from the Alzheimer's Association, and we want to celebrate not only, I think over the years now, something like a 700% increase in research, which is so critical, and efforts we have done to support caregivers and the next step is making sure that <clears throat> patients have the critical and urgent treatments that they need. And so I will be following up with you more on that. But uh, this is the moment to, to, uh, uh, to really build on that. And so um, I, uh, I appreciate that they're all here with us uh, this week. Uh, let me start also by saying that Medicare and Social Security are great American success stories, lifted a generation of seniors and people with disabilities out of poverty. We certainly are not going to go backwards. At least certainly the majority in the United States Senate is not going to go backwards. When the chairman talks about uh, the House Republican Study Group budget, which is uh, one that, that uh, has been lifted up as a major uh, foundation for what the House is talking about, it raises the age of Medicare to 70, raises the age of Social Security to 70. They, I, I can't imagine um, doing that or, or privatizing the systems, turning them over to Wall Street or private insurance companies. So um, I congratulate you and I congratulate the President for going in a different direction, which is to strengthen uh, Medicare and to focus on the costs on prescription drugs and so on as we, we move things um, in the right direction for people. Um, you know I have to talk about mental health. I have to talk about certified community behavioral health clinics. I'm so excited that this is something that we have done on a bipartisan basis. I see Senator uh, Cornyn here. We worked really hard together on the, um, the uh, Safer Communities Act and really have the uh, most, uh, the strongest investment in mental health and addiction services literally in 50 years, and that's not an exaggeration. And so thank you for working on that, as well as our chairman and, and ranking member who have been so pivotal in all of it. Um, we are now, we've had a demonstration project with 10 states fully funded, like healthcare, uh, with uh, clinics, quality clinics, 24-hour emergency, emergency services. We're now working on the next piece you uh, announced, um, uh, SAMHSA has uh, the process for identifying the next 10 states. We're working, we want to get that all the way to 50. But I'm, I would like you to elaborate a little more on your plans for this really transformative system. We're moving from grants, grants are good, but much better to have this be an integral part of our healthcare system with ongoing funding and support, support for staff, the work that this committee did in expanding uh, Medicare access for therapists and, and so on, and the GME slots for psychiatrists at the end of the year, really important work that we've done. But could you expand a little bit on um, this program and your vision around uh, uh, community behavioral health? Yeah, and I have to begin, Senator, by thanking you, Senator Cornyn, and others who really championed this. Uh, your fingerprints are all over this expansion of community, certified community behavioral health centers, and thank God, because we know that mental illness doesn't end at five o'clock. It, it goes forward, and at midnight, three in the morning, you need to have someone you can turn to, and that's where these certified community behavioral health centers will be indispensable. The fact that we're gonna to try to give them a permanent stream of funding, so they're not open just nine to five, or they're not open just the first five months of the, of the year, and then they run out of money. This has a consistency, and we know that for folks who are going through a mental health crisis, they're looking for some stability. And so this helps add that at all hours, all days in the year, and we're gonna build on this. You started with a project, a pilot, and now you see what's happening. And it's great that we're also gonna be able to help those states that start off in those projects to expand as well, because what a shame if the states that first took the leap and showed its success would be deprived of the chance to expand this. So thank you very much to you and your colleagues for what you've done. Well, I'm really thrilled that in the President's budget he makes the Certified Community Behavioral Health Clinics permanent, which is so critical. And I have to say, this was a, a major bipartisan uh, accomplishment, and while he's no longer in the Senate, uh, my partner, Senator Roy Blunt, was integral to this. And so, uh, shout out to uh, Senator Blunt as well. So, thank you, Mr. 